thesmartlocal.com So this is part 2 of the leftover food challenge It's the zero waste challenge And here are the rules For an entire week, participants are tasked to attempt to live a zero waste lifestyle They are required to accumulate any waste generated into their designated boxes for a week in part 1, we ask you guys for suggestions on how to reduce waste. So stay tuned to see if your suggestions were selected for the challenge. When it's convenient. Reuse, I confirm. Me too. And then the mooncake box that I bring home and put Actually, me too eh. Yeah, I'm so jewelry. Or you split the ply, you split the ply. It's important. Okay, I think reducing wastage, right? Once again, it's something that our parents are better. So my father went tougher like those sliced fish bihun right? Sliced It'll be like the tinkat thing. You don't realise that you do it until you get confronted with the facts lah. That like, you actually everyday like, ooh, I just throw this, throw this away. I think we don't have a culture of recycling in Singapore. You know why? Because those bins right, it's just like one giant bin right? And people just throw random things inside. I say tissue paper because tissue paper is like the, the one thing that you just don't think law. You just don't think twice. Even today, I think I, I wipe my hands on a lot of tissue paper already eh. Chris, I don't think so. I... No, if you come tomorrow, I'm super ring to eat. Welcome to my life. So I just ordered a drink from the coffee shop near the office, and guess what they gave me? A freaking straw. What am I gonna do with this straw now? Now I have to go and bring it back into the office and put it in my box. Disappointed with my life. This no waste lifestyle is not starting off very good. I drank tea today because I didn't know about the zero trash challenge so now I'm going to put it in someone's shoe <laughs> So I'm here to eat, eat my favourite ramen, Balanced Ramen um, What's not fine is they gave me a can and straw I'm going to give it away though so it's not doesn't count as mine I just got like a delivery and guess what they wrapped it in it's only been like half a day and I'm already filling half my Daiso box. Good luck to me for the next five days. So because I can't generate trash, I'm just going to remove my makeup with a handkerchief. Not bad. So I forgot I was in this zero waste challenge and I actually used the mask. And now I'm like done, but I have to keep the mask. <laughs> I can't even like throw it away like normal people will. I'm gonna like... <laughs> Keep this. <laughs> I have lunch today in my container from Monday. But apparently I just got one up by Rachel because she brought like this super high level thing cut which kicks all the thing cuts in their asses. So all I've been doing is like bring my own container on my own mark. I use my container to tap out food from the market or like if I need to buy bread even. I don't generate any plastic waste. And also just bring out your own water bottle, it really saves me like a lot of cash because I like to buy mineral water well I don't have to buy a bottle now every single time I can get like free water the hardest thing for me so far is switching from tissue paper to handkerchiefs but for usual stuff like drying your hands a handkerchief is really useful I'm at Twitter HQ and I'm here for Cesare's concert and I unknowingly or like subconsciously took a can of coke it's like we're just done with like Cesare's concert and I had to eat dinner so I'm not gonna bring it home but this is a uh, Proof that I have a lot of ways. I'm at the National Stadium for Jejo's concert now, and we're supposed to print our own tickets because they don't accept like electronic versions. So if you see people in the background, everybody's holding on to a slip of paper, but my slip of paper is printed on a double sideways paper. Yay! So it's Sunday. I thought that I'll be staying home today and not not gonna generate any waste today. But I had to do some work. I went down to the cafe and I bought stuff. <laughs> One drink. But I don't know why, but they have like straw plastics. Why ah? Uh? You just use straws ah? Uh? People are like... on your hand. <laughs> you should have just taken a fork. Eh, hey, don't go ah. <laughs> Zero wastage. Christmas. Oh my God. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I bought the salad, they gave me a container and ever since then, uh, I've been bringing it back to the office, washing it and then bringing it back to the store and then they just like fill it up with a new salad.
My box birthed another box. Oh my god. I expected to accumulate more trash. Actually, I think it's because we we are so conscious that this is not an accurate reflection of like mm. how much trash our existence creates. It's been a pretty good experience actually. Um, I really generated a lot less waste than I thought I was. And I think you just have to be conscious about your own waste. I think also to like start small so that it, you won't see it as like something that's troublesome or a burden to you. And I think grab your friends to do it with you because I think it's really easier when you guys are doing it in a group and it's more fun anyway. Uh, also a lot of moments when you unconsciously create trash. I think sometimes spontaneity like it really like you just go and want to buy like ice cream or you want to go and buy a snack. At least I realized right for me especially after looking at my own trash, um, I realized my life is surrounded by plastics. And you don't even realize it until Until you look at the office trash can. <laughs> There's like about 40 over of us here. And then we all go and tap our lunch together, right? Then there's like 40 containers in here. Mm. It doesn't sound a lot in one day, but in a week of like five days, it's like 200 containers. In, when I went for the concert at the National Stadium, after, the, after everybody left, there was a lot of trash. Like they don't bother bringing it with them. Like, it's not even like an extra money. Right? Also, I refrain from buying the J.Tro merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to wrap it up... Uh, with what? <laughs> with... Okay, but tissue, right? Don't like, wash your hands, then... Yeah, no. yeah don't do that! <laughs> I have stopped already. <laughs> Are you serious? Hey, I like it. It's like you're wearing that. <laughs> My friend once taught me, after you wash hands, you just tap your hand on your pants. <laughs> <laughs> the receipt I like, just left it on my table for like future uses when I can write notes on my receipts. So when you go and buy bubble tea, right? Sometimes you really don't need the plastic bag, but you just get it because you don't want to have the condensation mm. on your hand. In general, every time you buy like one piece of bread, they give you like a small bag and a mm. bigger bag, which doesn't make sense to me. I mean, just take a small bag out. And they always individually wrap. Yeah. The plastic bag. I think if anything, I've grown to be more conscious about plastics. <laughs> How you can reduce wastage, right? Is if you have an office pantry, don't order things in fun size. Oh. Yeah. For a start, right, you can try using containers like Tupperware or Tinka to tap out. Just yeah. make one change. Just just like look at one thing that you have to change. Yeah. And then just do it. And then from there, make small changes. Long. Thank you very much for watching this video. And thank you very much, Fat Rice, for sponsoring this video as well. Anyway, you can watch all our other videos right there, which includes the leftover food challenge where we reduce the amount of uh, food wastage we have by recreating our leftovers into brand new dishes. And as always, click below to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and for a list of all the tips we took on, check out the description box below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.